Yesterday was Champions League football. Arsene Wenger was one of the pundits that we are really there to really talk about. Chelsea versus um, Real Madrid. That's so Real Madrid knock out uh, Chelsea on an aggregate of four goals to nil. Uh, AC Milan knocking out Napoli on an aggregate of two goals to one. Arsene Wenger, after all that punditry job being done, he was asked about his former team that he last managed, I think, in 2016, 2017. Was it 2018? Then he gave his narrative as far as Arsenal versus Man City is concerned and he shocked the world. He said Arsenal are going to win the league. He gave his own reasons and that's what you're going to really base a lot onto here as far as that is concerned. Welcome to Rokani Media Football. How are you guys and where are you watching us from? Smash the like button, comment and share and guys congratulations we hit 13,000 subscribers and I call upon you to subscribe on this channel more and more such that we go ahead and really hit huge numbers <clears throat> as far as this channel is concerned. We are talking Jami Karaga talking about the title race, Arsenal Man City, <coughs> then Ian Wright trying to really throw in a sympathizer that could not act well to the players of Arsenal. I think these players should be really treated hard to be let known that <clears throat> this is a war, you know, that age is just a number and all what you have to do is to raise your mentality to the levels that will take you to where you want to be, that is winning the trophy. Rock and David is my name. Now, Asen Wenger first came out and said that Arsenal and these players have not been in the position to win the league before. Hopefully they win it this year and next year it will be easier. But now when you have, you have when you've never won it, there will be a moment in the season when the tension comes in. And I think this is the moment that the manager, Asen Wenger, is talking about that tension has gone ahead to bite in for us on Arsenal players. Because if you've been winning your last seven games consecutive after losing against a city what is really hindering you from really losing two games that have gone ahead to lead by two goals to nil liverpool and west ham that's what Arsenal really gave up those two wins and i think Arsene wenger is right and he's talking through experience because he was in the premier league he knows everything you know there is a side that he built i think from 1996 that saw himself really tussle it out with Manchester United in those years. And I think he won his, far, his, far, his first Premier League trophy in 1997 with Arsenal. That is Arsene Wenger. So he knows what he's talking about, that tension is in, and he knows how that tension is going to go ahead and really find it down in the veins of Arsenal players to really produce adrenaline that can really give them enough courage and, uh, and confidence that they can win the league. Now, after that, Asen Wenger came out and really said the following on if City are favorites to win the Premier League. He said no, no, no. He said no three times. And he followed he followed the triple no with the following. I would say Arsenal still win the trophy. What you want in this position is to have things in your hand. If Arsenal win their games, they win the league. So, that's an ideal position with a few games to go. Of course, Man City have an opportunity when they play Arsenal and that could be the decider in the championship. So, still Asen Wenger is tipping Arsenal to win the league. And even me, right here, amidst Arsenal losing two games, to me I call those losses because getting a two-goal two goal lead against Liverpool at Anfield at half-time I think that is really great when you draw it's a loss then that of West Ham is a super loss for that of Liverpool at Anfield I can sympathize with Arsenal but that at West Ham it's unforgivable it's something that really shows you how you start to empty the bottle before you go ahead and really bottle it again at Etihad but Arsene Wenger is 100% sure that Arsenal favorites win the trophy and I back him I think the only way Arsenal are going to be favourites to win the trophy, the only way Arsenal are favourites to win the trophy is when they lose to City. If they don't lose to City, I think they are favourites to win the trophy. If Arsenal loses to City, then that's when I'll say, all right, Arsenal have bottled it up. I've seen very many people coming out and saying, Arsenal have bottled it up. Arsenal have bottled No, they've not bottled it up because even when City wins their game they have in hand, they're not going to 
they're not going to surpass Arsenal. The only way they can surpass Arsenal is to beat them on the 26th of <clears throat> on the 26th of April. That is next Wednesday, a week from now. Something I find hard. Something I find hard. If Arsenal got a draw away at Anfield, one of the hostile grounds I've seen in the Premier League, then they can even get a draw or a win at Etihad. You know, <clears throat> so I also fancy the words of Arsene Wenger on who is really winning the title and who is the favourite. Arsenal are only bottling it after that game of City <clears throat> and he was on Bain Sports talking this and lastly he said, I fancy Arsenal, I'm not completely objective here but I do. <clears throat> we will also have to see how much the Champions League takes out of Man City. Obviously today Man City is playing in the Champions League, <laughs> you know, they are playing Bayern Munich <clears throat> and that shows you that in the last two weeks, they'll be playing two games per week. After playing today, over the weekend they are playing Sheffield Wednesday. Maybe they're having a chance to really, to really bench some players. And on Wednesday, they'll find themselves playing against Arsenal. So, Champions League might really stretch them to the levels of losing out some players. Or really seeing these players mentally perturbed. And it might really play in the favour of Arsenal. So, Arsene Wenger is having a very huge point onto the Champions League on how they're on how the Champions League is going to stretch, <clears throat> stretch Man City. And we're also waiting to see how exactly that is going to stretch out Arsenal. But <clears throat> I'm also behind Arsene Wenger. I believe Arsenal are still favourites to win the title. Not until City beats them. <clears throat> if City fails to beat Arsenal on the 26th of April, Arsenal will be still be into the title race. Many Man City players have gone ahead to call it a finale. But... <clears throat> I think it's one of those games that whoever wins it puts himself in a proposition of really winning the trophy, not so. And I think Asen Wenger is talking through experience. Now, Jamie Carragha, on the same topic of Arsenal and the trophy, he has gone ahead and really said the following on Sky Sports that <clears throat> what I would say is when in the when in the run in for the title, always question mark over the team who haven't done it before. <clears throat> Have they, have they got the nerves? When they lose a game or drop points, have they bottled it? <clears throat> this idea, they've bottled it or haven't held their nerve, I think it's completely the opposite because when you talk about someone getting nervous in the run-in, you can't play as well as they did in the first 30 minutes at Anfield or West Ham. <clears throat> if they are going in tense, worried about fixtures, the football was out of this world. And... Uh, <clears throat> This is where I go ahead and really give Jamie Karaga kudos that he's appreciating the efforts of Arsenal. You know, one thing that Arsenal isn't doing is simple. <laughs> it's simple. They fail to manage the game. <laughs> that is, they fail to manage the game of Anfield and the game of West Ham. <laughs> That's it. And he's giving out a scenario that if you're talking about bottling, when Arsenal's gonna hate to play like that in the first half that's not bottling you know they are playing some of the best football in the world and one thing <clears throat> is affecting them it's obviously game management and all we can understand that William Saliba being away is affecting Arsenal because they would have gone ahead to defend better and press <clears throat> more put more pressure onto the opponent by playing a high line meaning that if you are playing a high line, you press your opponent high up the pitch. You press him high up the pitch, you know the results. They all go in favor of yourself because you keep that intensive pressure onto the team that you are playing. But they couldn't do that <clears throat> game in, game out. Do you know why? Because they couldn't find themselves in positions of really playing a high line throughout the entire game because they know that <clears throat> um, Rob Holding amidst how good he's playing, he's really a suspect on certain fronts. So that's what I think um, Jamie Carragha is talking about. And uh, they've gone ahead to play some beautiful football. If at all they can really happen to manage the game more better, I think they'll be in a proposition of really <coughs> killing off these games. And they're left with just seven games to go, you know. If they manage the game of Southampton better and Man City, I think they'll be in the title race and no one will really be behind them you know so i think jamie carragher has gotten it right and uh, he has hit the nail on his top you know on the head because 
very many people are saying Arsenal have gone ahead to crumble. Arsenal have gone ahead to bottle it. To me, they have not yet bottle it. You know, because even City, you have no guarantee that Man City is going to go all out and win all its remaining games. City is left with eight games. Do you have a guarantee that City is going to win all its remaining games? You know, they have to play out Brighton. You know, they have some difficult games to play, according to me. So, I think it's a bad, it's a bad narrative that people are really throwing out that Arsenal have gone ahead to bottle that have gone ahead to bottle the league. They've already bottled the league. When you look at City, they're supposed to play Brighton. They're supposed to play Arsenal, Fulham, West Ham, Leeds, <coughs> Everton, Chelsea, and Brentford. Those are the games that City are supposed to play. And if at all you know what the Premier League is all about, you can't say that City has gone ahead to grab all these points. <laughs> no way. <coughs> no way. They can crumble at a certain point X. Look at Arsenal going two goals ahead of Liverpool. They drew against West Ham. They drew again. So you never know what is going to happen in the next future. Then Ian Wright, the Arsenal legend, has said, we are the second youngest team in the league and we are flying and we are fighting off a monster in Man City. A monster we are... A monster... A monster. We are keeping the league alive. Liverpool have to get credit for what they've done <clears throat> chasing down City to the point you look at Liverpool now and it's almost broken them <clears throat> we've got a young team we've got a young enough team that we are showing Man City we can duke it out with them and if we can get and if we can get this over the line they know <clears throat> they've got problems with us because we are going to start attracting the kind of players that's going to say <clears throat> That's where I want to go. <clears throat> and he's right. He was talking to the Athletic and he put out such a statement. He's right. When you look at the squad of Arsenal, you know, and the squad of City, they are really far different squads. And what differs is the bench. The player on the bench of Man City can easily come in and start in the team of Man City and you won't miss that one who is really <clears throat> not played. For Arsenal, it's the opposite. Their bench is a little bit shaky. That's why you see to eat that. <coughs> Saliba being away in that central defense, Arsenal is conceding very many goals. In their previous two games, they're going to have to concede four. And they've scored four. That's why they're only going to have to really collect two points and dropped four. So, to me, I think there is a point in what he's saying. And the monster in Man City is being tamed by Arsenal. If Arsenal wins the league, They'll attract more players. They won't go to City. So I think he's right. And he has gone ahead to hit the nail on its top. And that's Ian Wright. So I think it's not yet done until the 26th of Wednesday. I believe if Arsenal get a result at Etihad, that will be the final nail in the coffin that City have given or sent the trophy to Arsenal. Even Pep Guardiola knows it that if at all they drop a point, all points, they would have given us a good night to win this trophy. So, guys, your thoughts on Asen Venga <clears throat> tipping us to win the league are welcome in the comment section below. What do you think about Jamie Carragher and Ian Wright on what Asno is this season? Smash the like button, comment, and share. If you're totally watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Rock and David remains my name always, and don't forget to really <clears throat> subscribe. But I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Don't forget to say a prayer because prayers don't lie. And for my Muslim friends, Ramadan Karim, because Allah is really weighing your Ramadan month of fasting. I'm out.